EcoFaris is a leading provider of sustainability ratings, intelligence and performance improvement tools for global supply chains. Founded in 2007, the company has been at the forefront of sustainability and corporate social responsibility for over a decade. My name is Melissa Shemam, and in today's conversation, we'll be diving into the origins of EcoFaris with its two founders, Pierre-François Taylor and Frédéric Trinet. We'll be exploring the company's mission and values, discussing the impact it has had on sustainability landscape, and getting insight from the founders themselves on their journey and on the future of sustainability. Oh, good morning. Hello. How are you, Melissa? Good morning. Melissa? Good morning. Very well. Hello, so nice Melissa, meeting you. How have you been? Good, good. And good you? morning so far. Yes. Yeah, so far, so good. Very happy to be here with you today to talk okay. about sustainability. Let's, Let's go. go. Can we know a bit more about how you two met? Can we share this? <laughs> no, but we know each other for like 34 years each. <laughs> no, we, we met in Asia actually. Yeah, we were both living in Asia. Yeah, in Indonesia uh, 30 years ago and working very different businesses. But um, And I was based why. in Hong Kong uh, for 10 years. So I was traveling often uh, to Indonesia for business and we had common friends. So that's how we met. And then 15 years later, we got together to start. Ecovedis. And in between a couple of racing together on sailboats, which helped us learn, you know, and know each other much better. Can you please come back and discuss the beginning of the company, Ecovadis? How did it start? Okay, so, so back in 2007, uh, Pierre-François and I wanted to uh, start uh, a new business that had an impact. And um, at that time, ESG was a, a raising concern for many large organizations that uh, started to realize that their impact was way beyond their borders and the company itself. And that most of the impact was in fact in the supply chain. And also combined to these, they were surrounding you know, stakeholders, government, regulation, customers that were increasing the pressure to get more transparency. You know, they were in fact asking for, a, you know, getting more information on how the supply chain is performing on ESG. So that's, that's how we started combining our uh, software knowledge and procurement knowledge, uh, developing a solution that could help those organizations to get more information on how each of their suppliers spread all over the world are performing on the ESG criteria. And it's even going beyond today. Um, one of the members of our scientific committee, Andrew Winston, wrote a very interesting book with uh, Paul Polman, the former CEO of Unilever. It's called Net Positive. It's a concept that you know, businesses to succeed today, they need to create value you know, for their entire ecosystem, for all the stakeholders, not, not only you know, minimize you know, environmental damage or impact, but create positive impact you know, for the planet and for, and for, uh, and for their communities. Mm -hmm. And we, we just published a, a, a study with uh, Bain, looking at the data we had on the hundreds of thousands of businesses we've rated. And we see that indeed, you know, those who are performing better in terms of, uh, you know, ESG commitments, in terms of diversity in their executive teams, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, support from employees, they were also able to achieve, you know, better revenue growth, better profitability. So it's a, you know, real business driver today. Definitely a correlation between the ESG performance and the financial performance. And coming from yeah, procurement and technology, we saw that you know companies were facing a big challenge because you know all of those large corporations they work with tens of thousands of businesses you know all over the globe, and trying to understand you know what are the environmental and social performance, you know it's really challenging and you have huge duplication of effort. So we thought we could create a platform and a standard, you know, to ease you know measurement of ESG for all those businesses. Sounds inspiring. So. Concretely, can you speak a bit about this uh, sustainability improvement plans, like without giving up too much of what you're doing, so that we get a sense of um, what what makes a difference for Covadis? No, so our, our process, the, the, the core of what we do is providing a, 
ESG rating and scorecards. So when we work with a, you know, typically a, a small business, you know, we'll provide a first scorecard of, you know, how they perform, how they perform versus their peers. And typically they are, uh, you know, their main B2B customers who say, okay, we are going to factor this in, in our next business award decision. So the higher the score, you know, the better chance you have to win this next big uh, RFP. Contract, yeah. And, uh, and to accompany them along this journey, we are not only providing, you know, measurements and, uh, and ratings, but uh, tools, yeah. you know, to help them, to help guide them. So we launched last year the Ecovis Academy, which is a you know, digital platform with, uh, you know, educational content, you know, in all languages on all topics so that, you know, small company in China, for example, can understand what they need to do to improve on the, you know, waste management. So again, bringing structure uh, with concrete feedback on the level of performance is a, is a very important point to trigger improvement. What sort of support do you, do you provide as a company? So it's through the technology. We provide support. So, I mean, on the customer side, uh, those procurement team that are using Ecovedis to implement, you know, the sustainable procurement strategy, our customer success team is really helping them maturing uh, for those who are, you know, at the beginning of the journey, sharing expertise that they gain across our pattern of customers that are using the solution for the program and strategy. And on the, the rated side, that's been the companies that we are assessing, for which we provide a score, is through the quality of the content. I mean, explaining in plain word what is their performance, you know, for each of the item that matters around the pillars of development, the, the, the sustainable development, so environment, social, business ethics, uh, and giving them benchmark information. So again, they can understand how far they are from their peers and, um, and therefore use the corrective action plan that we have on the platform in order to set goals so that they can, uh, you know, uh, set their ambition and also uh, improve themselves along the journey. So we, we, pro we provide the, you know, the information so to guide companies and through our network, through the community, we're striving to provide incentives. So for example, uh, you know, General Motors last summer, you know, one of our uh, you know, US customers decided to invite their thousands of suppliers, telling them that if you want to become or remain a preferred vendor to uh, General Motors, you need to significantly reduce carbon emissions. You need to significantly improve your ESG score. So that's you know one of the incentives that this network can provide. And on the on the uh, company assets, uh, they are also you know showing showcasing their performance through the Ecovedis medals. Depending on their level of performance, uh, they can get the medals. You know, depending on which quartile they are they are uh, located. You know, and uh, and yeah, many companies are telling us we're working really hard to get to the next level. And that's super rewarding for the team. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's really what we exist for, to drive improvements through uh, you know, what we are offering to the market. In terms of the platforms itself, how has it evolved and what sort of challenges did you face mostly? Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> I should say. <laughs> Quite a few, yes. Yes, the, the first challenges were the, yes, sustainability was nascent and, uh, and we are creating this network. And when you create a network, you know, first, you know, all the large buyers, they were asking, okay, are the suppliers there? And the suppliers were asking, you know, are the customers there? So creating the Chicken and the, the, the liquidity in yeah. this, uh, on this platform and creating the, you know, critical mass. That was the first, uh, that was the first challenge. And then we did this by, you know, finding those, you know, pioneer customers, what, uh, you know, they were early adopters and who believed in the, in the vision and creating um, a simple methodology you know, to rate companies on ESG, which could be used, you know, whatever the countries, whatever the industry, whatever the size of, uh, of businesses. So the tech platform and the and methodology that were the, you know, the, the core of what we had to build. Yeah, and internally, obviously the growth, uh, maintaining the same level of quality as we are scaling up. Uh, we mixing technology and uh, expertise. People is an, we are a pure software player, but at the same time we have a, we are adding knowledge and and uh, bringing a different level of quality by adding this layer of human touch. And as you scale, you need to increase automation and to secure the processes so that you don't compromise on quality, basically. So that's one anticipation. You imagine that in the past uh, what eighteen months we've hired almost seven hundred people. 
So you, you imagine that if you do not anticipate enough, uh, then you, you're facing very quickly a problem in an hypergrowth context, which is the one we are in. And last but not least on this, I think internally, uh, the culture is a very strong component of success for every company, but it's it's for sure in Ecovedis, it's a very strong culture. And keeping it you know alive as we grow, uh, making sure that our values are communicating and embed and you embraced by everyone on board is of course a challenge when you grow that fast at an international level and that's that's what we're trying to to do can you give a few tips for company or how they can do better in terms of sustainability i would say the first tip is to you know under, it's a very complex topic you have so many startups so many you know different topics you have to tackle from human rights to diversity to uh, you know environmental issues so i think the first tip is to understand what are the two or three most material issues you know the one which really matter instead of trying to cover everything you know really focus on the on the top three and identifying which of those you know environmental or you know social issues can be a differentiator you know, so that it's a, a way also to you know win business and a way to make it as a you know opportunity to grow the to grow the company. So focusing on the you know core core topics and um, that's probably the you know. And as a company, to be able to uh, orchestrate this so that it delivers uh, deliver results. So you know, they develop some policies, uh, implement those policies and measure all over the, the year how this performance is evolving, getting a good framework, which is something that Ecovedis is proposing, you know, through our assessment uh, is also helping a lot uh, with information on uh, how they perform, you know, how you perform compared to benchmark, compared to your peers is also helping uh, this organization to prioritize, as Pierre François was saying, some subject and materials, but also they are subject where in certain industry, companies are more or less advanced, and therefore you need to uh, make sure that you accommodate your plan so that you overall improve their energy performance. Great. So in this context and with what you, you've said as you know, urgency for sustainability, how do you see the future for Ecovadis? Our definition of impact is driving improvement at scale. So, and our strategy is aligned on the, those two axes. So scale, it's relatively simple. It's ambitious. But Number simple. of companies. We work with 100,000 businesses today. We think there are like millions, you know, operating in the supply chain of those large companies. So we're investing in automation to, you know, really extend our reach and improvement, equally important. It's, you know, not only providing data and ratings, but providing tools for those companies to improve. So, for example, we are launched last year a new carbon action module you know, a platform to help companies measure carbon emission, understand what they need to do to reduce, you know, uh, their environmental impact. Yes, many companies to convince and what can be measured can be managed. So it's really the starting point and we're trying to uh, raise awareness and provide the content and the tool to as many companies as possible so that again, we can reach the scale ambition, but as well help transform and improve uh, the participant of uh, of the network. Inspiring. Thank you very much to you both for your time. Thank you. Thank you.